Hi and welcome back to the Nerd Shelves. I'm Judy and I'm Michael. Table talk. Table talk. We're gonna talk about some games. Yes, some games that we've played throughout <laughs> the week and what's been going on and what's happening and mm -hmm. what's going to happen and all that good stuff. Let's get to it. Okay, so why don't you go first? You want me to go first? Yeah. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm going to talk about a game that we actually played it live during our um, live playthrough mm -hmm. last week. But the reason why I want to talk about it today is because, and I mentioned it in our live playthrough, it's a game that I don't think about much. We have it in our collection. We don't mm -hmm. play it much, and I don't really think about it much. Mm -hmm. But every time I do play it, I always think, hmm. This is great. Why don't we play it more often? That's what live stream is for, right? I we guess so. We get to play some old games and yeah. games we don't usually do. Exactly. And that game is Libertalia. Look at that. Yeah, it's pretty. It's a pretty cool looking box. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. I know a lot of people like pirate theme. Yeah. And I think this one is probably one of the pirate theme I really like. Mm hmm. Even though you kill me in the game, but <laughs> well, yeah. Go watch that. Yeah, that was uh, just one bad round. But <laughs> so we played it two player, obviously, in mm -hmm. our live stream. I think it plays better with more players. Yeah. Um, but again, every time I play it, I just think to myself, "Wow, why don't we play this more often?" It's really, it just has a really neat feel mm -hmm. to it. Yeah, the element is good. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. So basically, how the game works is is you're each a pirate ship, mm -hmm. and you have a crew, and your crew is a deck of 30 cards. We have the exact same 30 cards. Mm -hmm. And um, one person will shuffle them up and randomly pick nine, and then I have to, the, everyone else has to have the exact same nine cards in their mm -hmm. hand. So everybody's playing with the same cards. Mm -hmm. Now, the game is played over three campaigns, mm -hmm. and each campaign is a week. So the first campaign is, there's seven days. Mm -hmm. There's actually only six days. On the, the seventh day is the reset. Yeah. But each day, mm -hmm. what you have to do is there is plunder mm -hmm. on each day that you are essentially bidding for. Yeah. And to bid, you have to take one of the nine cards from your hand mm -hmm. and play it. Mm -hmm. These cards are ranked from one to 30. Mm -hmm. And remember, we have the same nine cards. Yeah. And they also have actions on them, which might be daytime actions, which happen when you play them, mm -hmm. or dusk actions, mm -hmm. which happen when you collect your booty, mm -hmm. or end of the campaign actions, which mm -hmm. happen on the seventh day. Mm -hmm. And then in descending order, the highest ranking crew mm -hmm. gets to pick the plunder first, or mm -hmm. pick the booty first. And there are treasure chests, which get you points, and there's curses, which get you minus points. So if you're the last crew member to choose that day, maybe you're stuck with curses. Yeah. There's all these cool things that happen. Yeah. Now, because there's only six days in a week, mm -hmm. and we played nine cards, mm -hmm. that means at the end of the week, we have three cards left in our hand. But my three cards might be different than your yeah. three cards, because we didn't play the same cards. Yeah. They might be the same, they might be different. Mm -hmm. The beginning of the next round, we collect six more cards, so we have nine cards in our hand. Mm -hmm. Everybody for sure has the same six cards because we just put them in our hand, mm -hmm. and then our other three cards may be different. Mm -hmm. And we go through it again. And then, in the third round, we do the exact same thing again. And it's just really fun because you're always, you think you know what the other player has in their hand, but maybe you guessed wrong, and yeah. maybe you forgot what they had, and yeah, it's, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's not super heavy. Yep. It's pretty light. Mm -hmm. But it's also thinky because the, every card has different actions that you can play and that give you bonuses and I can kill people from your crew and you can get rid of people from my crew. I don't It's just fun. It's fun. There's also um, a night phase, isn't it? For ongoing bonus. Oh, right. That's another um, another action is sometimes mm -hmm. there are night phases which are obviously in between the days which yeah. give you bonuses. And I stuff. can't forget that because he got rid of my night phase queen. <laughs> I did, yeah. <laughs> well, she's my mermaid. I love it. But yeah. <laughs> got killed. <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's yeah. the Britalia. And I wanted to bring it up today just because mm -hmm. we, we did just do it in our live stream, like mm -hmm. we said. And again, as always, it surprised me. I don't know why it keeps surprising me. But it's just so much fun. It is, and, but then yeah. I just forget about it. Yeah. I, it's bizarre. <laughs> I, can, I can't explain why, but I yeah. wanted to bring it up because I wanted to give it more love. We have not yeah. given this game any love on our 
channel. Exactly. Really, yeah. Except for that play playthrough. Yeah, and it's it's interesting game because every time you play, it's different. That's right, because you have thirty cards, and throughout the entire game, you're only right there. You get six cards yeah. per three campaigns, mm -hmm. so you're only ever going to see. Um, oh no, sorry, you get nine to start. Mm -hmm. And then six, and then six. Mm -hmm. So what's that? Nine, fifteen, plus another six, twenty-one cards. Mm -hmm. Right? You're yeah. only ever going to see twenty-one cards out of the thirty. Yeah. And you might not even play them all. Yeah. And at the end of the game, there are going to be six cards that's different than your player. Yeah. And it just, yeah, so much fun. Yeah, it is fun. It's really neat. And like I said, mm -hmm. it does play better with more players. Mm -hmm. We played it with two. Yeah. So it's only the two of us battling. Yeah. But and I have to say, I do love the artworks mm. on the card as well. It's very oh, detailed yeah. and yeah. it's very pretty. Yeah, yeah. The art, the art is fantastic, mm -hmm. actually. So yeah. So anyway, so that was Libertalia. I just really wanted to give it some love because I. Arr. Arr. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just it's just a fun game. Yeah. yeah. It's fun. Cool. That's good. Now, I'm going to talk about something that's a little bit smaller. It's <laughs> just an expansion. Um, oh, okay. Nightfall. Ooh, Parks expansion. All right. Yes. So I'm going to lay it down a little bit because it's hard to stand okay. up. It's a skinny <laughs> box. So everyone knows <laughs> the base game Parks. Mm -hmm. And we couldn't love it more because we bring it when we go for camping yeah. and we play with kids, yeah. play with friends. It's love just an easy parks. family game, beautiful, and the gameplay is awesome. Now, at the expansion, you get to go camping mm -hmm. in a tent. Yeah. And that is so fun. So I'm going to talk about that part. Okay. So in the new game, um, they, they add more new stuff, like the new um, earring card. Oh, yeah. And the wildlife and the tent token, for sure. Yeah. And also the campsite and the campsite board. Right, right. So right, the right. campsite board, you have to put it under the player board. And that is a fun stuff. So we still set up the game as the base game. Now you just have to add the camp, uh, the tent token. Mm -hmm. So from the end of the trail, all the way to the front, and they give you a, a instruction how to place it. Yeah, like you, it's not every single one. I think there's it's only every three other of them, one, or yes. four of them, and more players. Yeah, every other one going backwards. Three, four, yeah, for the basic yeah. setup. Yeah. So when you play, again, it's like your base game play, but when you your player it, it uh, land on those tent, the the area, yeah, you can choose to do your usual action as a base game, or you can now go to the campsite, the, the board at the bottom, if it's available. Mm -hmm. If there's already tents there, you cannot do it. Right. Okay, so here is the catch. You can go down to the campsite board. You cannot get the uh, weather token, so the water, the sun, Oh, all that. right, if there's one of the weather tokens. Yeah, because right. you give up on doing the basic, right. right? So now you go there, and you get to do the action, which is pay the three sun token, and then you can draw up to two of the um, year card. Yeah, that's one of the actions you can choose. Yes. So I love this part because you draw two to your hand. Yeah. You already have it, right? You, you already have one there. Or throughout the game, you probably have more. Now, you don't keep both of them. Right. You draw two up to your hand, and you have to discard one. Right. So that could be one that already was on your hand. Exactly. Exactly. You can keep the two that you kept yeah. as long as you discard a different one. And I love it because yeah. some of them are hard to do. Totally. Yep. So that's a good way to yep. get rid of those ones yep. and collect the, the good ones, right? Absolutely. But you don't have to do that action when you go camping. There's other actions you can choose from yeah. that change every round, right? When you flip over. You flip over. Yeah. Like every other time, right? Yeah, exactly. And that part was really good. It is neat. It gives you way more options, right? Other yeah. than just, just moving along the trail forward. Now you have that option to go camping as well. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that's probably the only part I'm going to mention. Yeah. Is there any other thing you want to talk about? Yeah. Well, there's one thing I really like about the expansion as well mm -hmm. is, um, is it adds new park cards. Mm -hmm. And the park... Some of the new park cards actually give you resources and stuff too. They're a little bit different than the old park they cards. They add a little more spice yeah, to it. They just add a little bit more spice and you can just shuffle them in with the regular park cards and, and they show up randomly in that. Mm -hmm. And that's really cool. And I also really, really, really like the new um, like end of game bonus cards because in the base game, 
It's so hard. It seemed really hard where you yeah. got more points for them, mm -hmm. but you needed to accomplish more of it. Like six to eight? Six to eight, maybe six to eight something. parks with suns on yeah. it or something like that. But so the, the new mm -hmm. ones are exponential. So you get less. Three of them. Right, but it'll say mm -hmm. like for every three, you get two points. Yeah. And I just I think that makes it a lot more interesting. That's really cool. Yeah. Okay, do, do I think... Do I think this expansion is essential? Like, do I think you have to have this expansion with Parks? No. I mm -hmm. think Parks is already pretty good. Mm -hmm. That said, I will never play Parks without this expansion. Yeah. Especially now we have more Park cars to shuffle into the Absolutely. base one. They're so pretty. Yeah. The only, mm -hmm. my only complaint, and it's not even a complaint, <laughs> but, so, okay, so if you've seen any of our reviews or talks about the base game of Parks, yeah. One of my biggest pluses of this game mm -hmm. is the insert. The insert. And not just the insert, but how the insert fits perfectly in this small box. They didn't mm -hmm. give you this giant box. Yeah. Now. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> the downfall to that is, is that yes, this comes with a really nice insert too, mm -hmm. but there is no way you can put it in the base game box. No, you can't. So, I don't know if that's really a negative. Mm -hmm. I would love, I mean, I understand because the base game box fit just perfectly, so it kept it nice and small, which is yeah. great. Mm -hmm. But now we have to have two boxes. Yeah, which so is okay. when, you, when you go out, you kind of need to carry this box. You need to carry them both, yeah, <laughs> exactly. But I mean, that's okay. It's not, yeah, like that's I said, okay. it's not really a negative. It's my, but it is my, if, if I had to say something negative, that's really the only thing I yeah, can say. Yeah, which is minor. Very minor. Yeah, a lot of people like to keep the uh, yeah. expansion in the True. box anyways. True, <laughs> absolutely. So that, is parks. parks expansion expansion nightfall and i love it i, I love, love it parks too. and i love nightfall yeah so good it adds the spice right i love it so much yeah and that are the games we we're going to talk about yeah those are a couple games that we played this week mm -hmm. um both great games um i'm going to have to say parks uh, is better <laughs> it's one of my favorite i mean love it so much i love deep heavy mm -hmm. thinky games mm -hmm. and parks is not that mm -hmm. that said parks is still one of my favorite games yeah it's just so relaxing, relaxing. it's so nice it's so smooth it's just beautiful components and art it's just such yeah. a great game uh, sorry i know we stopped talking about it but i'm still talking about it <laughs> <laughs> that shows you how much i love it yeah right yeah so other than mm -hmm. that we have a couple things going on um we just did a review of Mountain Goats for the Dice Tower. Mm -hmm. You can go check that out on the Dice Tower channel. Um, yeah. We talked about it in Table Talk last week. Yes. But our review's up this week. Mm -hmm. um, we This is our Steffen Feld month for yes. our live playthroughs. Only Saturdays, our Saturdays. Yeah. yeah. So when this video gets mm -hmm. published, we be played Carpe one DM. yesterday. We yeah. played Carpe Diem yesterday, but yeah. we haven't played it yet. <laughs> Future okay. us. And the last one will be um, Aquasphere. Oh, Aquasphere. Yes. It's not my favorite game, but we'll see. Some people love it. So. Yeah, you haven't played it enough, so maybe maybe <laughs> you'll change your mind. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. So that is our um, live stream this yep. month. We make it a theme of Stefan Fell. That's right. Because we love him so much. Yes, and I, <laughs> we do. I know some people don't, but we do. Yeah. But, yeah. So that's kind of what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Have yeah. you noticed that I can't say subscribe button? Normally. Normally. Well, so it's there just because every time I say it, I go, subscribe button. I know it's when I rewatch some of the videos. Yeah, I keep saying subscription. Anyway. Subscription. <laughs> subscription button. Until next time. Go ahead and get another game off of your nerd shelf. Take care. Bye.